All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting out here in the Freedom Shack, which is soon to become the Freedom Lounge because I've got two kegs of beer on tap right over there in the Freedom Refrigerator. What are we doing out here? Well, I'm going to tell you something. This on the table is my backup three-gun rifle. Pretty much if we go to a major event like that, I'm going to bring a backup rifle uh, that's close or identical to what I am using as my primary just so that if something goes done, uh, you lose a bolt carrier, you lose a trigger group, you lose something, you blow the thing up, you've got a backup. I mean, I've actually been on occasion where something happened with the scope uh, on the primary, which was shooting way off for some stupid reason. So you can jump on this guy. This is the Razor HD on here with the JM1 reticle. So why are we talking about this? Well, I felt it figured it was a great platform to go ahead and discuss this guy right here. This is the uh, Fab Defense. This is their... Uh, what do you call this thing? The Spike. The Spike Bipod. Now, this was sent out to the channel by the guys over there at Optics Planet. The cool thing about this, this is $163. Right now, they got free shipping. So, it comes in black, FDE, and OD green. Uh, there's also a setup to where you can put it, set it up to where it will attach to uh, your M-Lock in here. Uh, so, let's talk about this. The way I have it set up is I actually have it on... A uh, kinetic developments QD attachment point right here. If your M lock openings are actually really to spec, this thing right here will keep it as solid as possible. Let's talk about this real quickly. I wanted to do the review like this because I just felt like it was more personal. Um, this is set up for a pick rail attachment. Like I said, they also have one that is set up for the M-Lock. I like this one because with the kinetic development group, I can attach it anywhere I want on the rail. And as long as your rails, the M-Locks are to spec, it will be a tight fit. Now this thing is made of a combination of polymer as well as aluminum. Um, as and it's really neat. And I, one of the things I do like it about it is you got the extended legs. They're not spring loaded, uh, which is not a detriment to me. I don't really mind that. Uh, but I do like the foot pads on here. The rubber as well as in here they have. Let me show you extensions that can be added to it. It's like a two inch extension. So if you want something that's like instead of seven inches, you can have it nine inches. That's two plus seven equals nine. Yes. Okay really neat they've got these uh, little push areas right here to just the tents that help you move it up there is a tensioning knob underneath here that is really nice now here's the cool part about this little deal in that it also will roll left and right can't and then you have a uh, panning motion right here as neat as it is a spring loaded now if you needed to, you can go ahead and lock this down. It's pretty secure. You don't have to worry about that. Um, the neat thing is it has a cam system on here, just a lot like, uh, I would say, this guy right here, the Atlas, uh, who I think pretty much developed that whole system. But uh, anyway, uh, you're going to pay $350, $400 for one of these things, depending on this. This guy retails for $163. Right now, like I said, I think they've got free shipping. So you've got that going for you. Um, the nice thing is you can put it all the way out like that, or it can lock in position if you want to shoot it into a rear area like this. I'm going to put it onto the rifle. I'll show you. So if I'm going up to a shooting position, I can be in here like this. If I'm shooting down like that, it works really well. Uh, as far as the ruggedness the robust i can't stand that word uh this thing is absolutely pretty awesome it has good looking knurling here on the tensioning knob and these uh parts here where your cam locks are this is steel and man i tell you what like i said i was out in uh shot show a couple years ago and i saw this thing and i fell in love with it uh, other than, and I'm just going to be perfectly honest with you, the Atlas, I think this is probably one of your best bets. And I'm not talking about the, the bipods that are $1,000. Like, we can't compete against those things. But for $163, if you're looking for a very good quality, usable, usable uh, bipod, this is a great option. And I'll tell you what, for about 60 bucks, other than the uh, Kinetic Development Group, their quick lock deal right here, uh, this thing is pretty well standard and it'll probably stay in my bag just for that reason I can take it to the range and use this look at that as it rolls back and forth and then you've got your panning motion right here um, Yeah, 
So with that being said, guys, this is the spike from the guys over there at OpticsPlanetAndFabDefense.com. Uh, I'm not in any way trying to sell you this thing, but I'm just trying to uh, show you what the potential is for a really cool, affordable bipod that's not going to run you 300 gazillion million dollars. KB32, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24 7 for our freedom. Freedom's not free. That's a damn good looking rifle, man. Wilson Combat uh, Match Grade Barrel, SJC Comp, Trigger Tech Trigger, uh, pretty much. What is that? A WMD bolt. But uh, this guy's pretty accurate out to about five or 600 yards as well. So KB32, I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Boom.